brain. <laughs> Guys, we got a distress call, so hop on your mechs and... We still have no mecha beasts. It's been over two weeks. This better be worth the wait. Horde! All right, all right, I'm finished. <laughs> and now, may I present to you a new and improved mecha beasts. Huh? Hmm? Wow, they look... <sighs> Exactly the same. Yeah, well, maybe on the outside. But wait till I demo what they can do. We're kind of in a hurry here. Can't you just tell us? Uh, no. A work of art like this deserves a proper debut. And man, it's gonna be awesome! <laughs> In the old days, I would have called your father. Been a while since then. But I figured you might know what to do. What seems to be the problem? Wandered into the cavern two days ago. Pretty beat up and disoriented when we found him. Found who? Him. Dr. Black? <laughs> from the desert. No blaster, no mecha, nothing. That must be where the Shadow Clan sent him. He's been wandering for over two weeks. I can't believe it. We got him. Well, technically, we didn't. Ah, this is no time for technicalities. Epic poems will be written about the day Pronto had the most feared scoundrel in all of Slaterra. At his mercy. <laughs> you have no authority to hold me. I'm the Shane, and you're gonna pay for your crimes. <laughs> I will give you one more chance to release me, or face the consequences. <laughs> I think you're forgetting who's got the upper hand here. <laughs> Am I? Huh? Floppers. <laughs> Should we go after him? It won't matter, Cord. He's probably already called for backup. Coop? I got no love for Dr. Black. Guy gives me the creeps. But I do love this cavern. If more of his men are on their way, it'll be war here. You've done your share, Coop. If a fight's coming, it's ours. Dr. Black can't stay here, Eli. We're gonna need to move him somewhere more secure. Uh, <laughs> yes, but how exactly? Surely we would all prefer he remain... In there, uh, behind those bars. Then maybe we'll take the bars, too. Aha! Now this is good! Dr. Black, safely back there. And Pronto the Conqueror, safely up here. <laughs> Begin the journey to... Uh, wait, uh, uh, where are we taking him? Good question. Locking Black up could change everything. If he stays captured. Well, what about Stalagmite 17? I hear it's been reinforced since we took it back from Mr. Saturday. That prison should hold Black. If we can get him there. Then that's where we go. Hopefully we'll get there before that Blackguard can alert any... <laughs> Word travels fast. Indeed. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Just wait till you see. Not to hurry up the big debut, but we're kinda getting hammered here. It'll be worth the wait. Trust me. Uh, Pronto enjoys being overly dramatic as much as anyone, but, uh, come on already, Cord! Not yet. We need more room. What? More room? Okay, so before you check out my super duper upgrades, you're gonna want to wear one of these. Nice! All right, everyone, press your green buttons. Woo! We have green buttons. We have green buttons. Haunted rides, if I do say so myself. Come on, transform you hunk of John. Ah. 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 Sorry, we couldn't do that sooner. But we had to wait till we got to open ground. Are you kidding? We smoked them! Cord, you're a genius! Time on these upgrades is because I heard Black had been recruiting top tech talent for some kind of super vehicle. So if I had to guess, that's... <laughs> it's called Titan. <laughs> and you're about to find out what it can do. I'll, I'll be, be taking, taking Dr. Black, Black now. Quentin! After all, a man like that deserves to ride in style. Last thing he invented almost crushed us. Looks like he's picking up where he left off. I 
I would prefer to be rescued alive! Sorry, sir. You pick up those hunks of junk. Hey, watch your mouth. Don't listen to him, Wyatt. Never had these kinds of mechas before. <laughs> Hold on to your helmets. This is madness. I regret nothing. <laughs> Get us out of this mess, Mole! Sorry, yes, sir! <laughs> See? Nothing to worry about. Uh. Uh. Face it! You're outclassed by superior science! I knew these crimes would write about this day, but I did not think it would be because it was the day Proto the Great met his end! <laughs> Nice work, Burpee. got us over the canyon, so, uh, rock on, Cord. And the rock on to the Marinoi to outbox the Titan! <laughs> As they will write one day. <laughs> Amusing story. But Quentin had no intention of catching you. He was corralling you. Like cattle! Hit the brakes! <laughs> Quentin led us into an ambush! All right, you, me, and Cord will keep him busy so Pronto can get through with Black. until you get to Stalagmite 17. Ah! The rest of us will keep him off you. Huh? Knock, knock. Easy there, buddy. 
You have to thank me or anything. Whatever you do, keep the pedal to the metal. Triggered a change to Burpee's Velocimorph. <laughs> well, I'd say he's now a Megamorph. Well, can we save the science lesson for later? We're trapped. No, we're not. <laughs> this is madness! We barely made it across Cobra Canyon last time, and this crossing is even longer! Trust me! <laughs> now, Cord! Bye-bye, Titan! <laughs> Did you see that? You should have run when you had the chance! <laughs> uh, dude, you're playing chicken with a titan! I'll take your mods over whatever point created any day! <laughs> Just 
just need enough speed. <laughs> and delivered the mighty Dr. Black to justice. Feels weird. We got Black. <laughs> it's over. I hope. Dude, what else could happen? I mean, come on. None of his goons are gonna break him out of Stalagmite 17. <laughs> you have beaten those who serve me today. But trust me, you have no idea what's coming. You heard me right. My product is proven to make that untamable slug of yours a slinger's best friend. For those fortunate enough to obtain a quantity from this extremely limited supply, I guarantee the potency and efficacy 100% or my name isn't. Dr. Harlan E. Black. This is how you wheel them in, son. <clears throat> I feel obliged to warn you, there won't be enough for everyone. If you make an orderly line, my assistant Thaddeus will see to you. Give me two! I'll take three! <laughs> You kind sir will have to wait in line with everyone else. No, I'm not buying. I'm only wondering if my eyes are playing tricks on me. You see, I could swear you look exactly like the gentleman I denied permission to be here. You can't stand in the way of science. I have a valuable product, and people should be free to make up their own minds. Well, these people listen to me, my cavern, my rules. And what happens to people who break my rules? B -b -b bad things, Mr. Dare. <laughs> That's right. Bad things. Father, we should go. Listen here, you little coward. Your father never backs down. Never. Your sheep may not mind, but no one tells me what to do. <laughs> What makes us who we are? Is it pain, suffering, triumph in the face of unbeatable odds, or is it something else? Pass me the blaster, you fool! In my case, a moment's hesitation revealed a much greater truth. What's the matter with you? Give me the blaster! Ah! Surrender! <coughs> I surrender. Oh, you don't have to worry, doctor. I'm feeling generous today. I'll even allow you to leave with something. Your life. <coughs> Father! I said he'll leave with his life. Nothing else. Unless you have a problem with that? Father! No! Father! Father! Step foot in this cavern again and you will suffer! <laughs> Time you learned what real work is, son. Whoa! Take him to the mines! <laughs> no! The truth is, in this life, we only have ourselves.
And so it is here, on this great field of battle. A day that Slug Terra will long remember. The day we crushed our enemies and returned our leader to his rightful place. Now who's with me? <laughs> go ahead and soften him up for us. Then we'll go rescue Dr. Black ourselves. <laughs> and get the reward. How do you know there'll even be one? Dr. Black probably doesn't even know we're here to spring him. Dr. Black always rewards those loyal to him. Hear that? Rewards. So go on. Show them what you got. <laughs> and we'll get a sneak peek at their defenses. <laughs> Into the breach for victory! <laughs> Dr. Black, hand him over, or there will be consequences. We'll take the consequences. And stay out! We're lucky they're too greedy to work together. Stalagmite 17 may be nearly impossible to break out of, but it's not completely impervious to someone breaking in. Never you worry. There is nothing they can throw at us that Pronto and his merry band of heroes can't stop. We got things covered here, Eli. Better get back to your post. Fine. Uh, call me if you need me. Let me guess. Some of my associates are outside, attempting to rescue me? They're wasting their time. <laughs> Loyal to a fault. Usually when we meet, you're running away from my ghouls. Now we have a chance to talk. Face to face. I'll pass. Oh, come now. You mean to tell me you have nothing to ask me? Now that you mention it? Yeah. You could be anything you want. Why be evil? Why not use your power for good? <laughs> not everyone can be the hero, Eli. And if you want to know the answer to that question, to understand who I am. We need to go back to where it all started. Slag Rock Cavern. In its day, you'd never find a more wretched place. We had our own brand of justice here. Only the strong survived. And if you were quick and clever, you'd do even better. Lording over it all, the gangster, Vigo Dare. <laughs> I learned quickly how to take care of myself in more ways than one. To get ahead, you had to be a good slug slinger. And even as a young man, I was very good. Yeah, it's him, boss. Relax, kid. You think I care about a watch? Huh. You're working for me now. Any questions? What happens if I say no? <laughs> we got a comedian here, boys. He only picks the best, you know. I don't take orders from anyone. You'll get used to it. I did. You don't want to cross him. And so I began my employment for Vigo Dare, the same man that ran my worthless father out of town and pressed me into servitude. It wasn't entirely unpleasant. For the first time in my life, I never wanted for anything, materially speaking. I learned the ways of commerce and how fear can be a tremendous motivator. In no time, I had more than proven my worth. I also learned a valuable lesson. No matter how loyal you are, no matter how hard you work, you're always expendable. Best move yourself, Jim O'Shane. You're one of Vigo's boys. A long way from Slag Rock, aren't ya? My mistake wasn't challenging a shame. It was thinking that if I held my ground, it would show my loyalty. Six months, and not a word. I was, as you put it, left to rot. And upon my return... I lost an entire shipment because of you! 
step foot in this cavern again, and you will suffer. I had heard those words before. It was the best thing that could have happened to me. It set me on a journey that would end where I am today. Back in jail? I learned something from that two-bit gangster. Power is everything. To have power, you must be feared. And the best way for me to be feared was to become a better slug slinger than anyone else. For years, I trained in secret, preparing myself for a reawakening. Only one person would stand in the way of that. Your father. Sorry, guys. We didn't sign up for a job like this. Give up, Shane Gang. You're all that's left. That's a big negative. The cavalry just arrived. <laughs> Security slingers? They're just a bunch of mall cops. Retreat! And run away! Are we glad to see you? Yeah, you can always count on us security slingers. Whether it's a mall or a movie house, the playground or the pool. Well, now that includes prisons. Booyah! Slugs are power. The more you have, the stronger you are. But you have to know how to use them. How to bend them to your will. I would duel anyone who would accept my challenge. And many who did not. I did lose, but increasingly less. Then, one day, the stranger walked out of the mist. The unbeatable master. I know how this part of the story goes. She told me herself. Surely you know there are two sides to every story, Eli. Both of us worthy, but she could only pick one. Evil is in your heart, Thaddeus Black. There is no place for that in a slug slinger. Forgive me, Thaddeus. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. I am going to be the best. And I will not be stopped! This one will be great trouble for you, Will Shane. What's your business here, mister? Payback. <laughs> Comedian returns. Still got my watch? I surrender, I surrender! This cavern belongs to me now. Anyone still loyal to Vigo Dare will leave with him or suffer the same humiliation. Those of you willing to pledge loyalty to me will be rewarded. Huh. They'll be back working for me within a month. So, you beat Vigo, captured his cavern, made yourself rich? You had everything you wanted. Why did you need to create ghouls? Not yet. Not even close. My forces were growing, and so was my ambition. I took a broken down cart line and turned it into the backbone of commerce in Slug Terror. 
Many were more than willing to provide me the rights of way I needed. Others needed more convincing. Jim O'Shane had grown old and weak. He was of little consequence until there was a changing of the guard. The new Shane was more of a complication. It has to stop, Black. The intimidation, the dirty dueling, the stealing and cheating. <laughs> You're in no position to dictate terms to me, Will Shane. Worthless runt! You don't have to do this, you know. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Wasn't talking to you. It's okay. You'll be safe with me. <laughs> You'll never be a slug slinger, Thaddeus. No slug will ever willingly work with you again. <laughs> then I'll find another way. Something better. And then, real shame, you will know what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> For years I studied, analyzed, tested, and retested. I knew everything there was to know about slugs except how to make them loyal to me. And then I found something interesting. The ancient texts spoke of the primal forces that made the slugs, about good and evil, and of darker forces beneath us, waiting to be unleashed. And then I found it, the wellspring of Ghouling, dark water. But I would need more than what little seeped through the cracks, and much more. I began a series of dark water experiments. Through trial and error, I knew I was onto something never before seen. Then it happened. A portal to the deep caverns opened, and I was pulled in. The effects of this trip would wreak havoc on my body. But it was well worth it. You have something I need. The Dark Bane supplied me with dark water, and in exchange, I agreed to allow one of them to disguise itself and return with me. You know how dangerous dark water is, and the Dark Bane? I've met them. They want to conquer Slug Terra, and then. <laughs> <laughs> they may be strong, but the Dark Bane are backwards and naive. They'll agree to anything when the hint of escape is dangled in front of them. You're being played, Black. <laughs> we'll see. Once I had the dark water, it was a matter of trial and error. Success was mine. My first test subject was obvious. Huh? What's happened to you? You look like a ghost. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Is that a slug? Black, what have you done to it? <laughs> I fixed it. Made it better. Good enough to finally beat you. The power I could never imagine! Corrupting slugs? You can destroy all slug terror! Black! Stop this! Black! Black! It took me some time to perfect the ghouls, but the rest, as they say, is history. No! What happened to my father? You're the only one who knows! Where did he go? <laughs> You're beyond twisted, you know that? You tell me everything, everything except the one thing I need to know most! <laughs> Perhaps you might consider sharing a few stories of your own in exchange. The Shanes do have a few secrets. This so-called burning world, for example? Forget it. The Shane's secrets are gonna stay that way. Hmm. Pity. That's the last of them, citizens. Eli, 
It's over. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but your lackeys plan to bust you out tanked. <laughs> uh, they mean well. But this situation calls for a somewhat uh, different approach. And only one of my associates is prepared for that. Expecting some new associates. Ah, they seem to be arriving now. Huh? I have only begun to unleash my power on Slug Terror. The shames will soon be no more. Slug Terror will be mine, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. No! I enjoyed our little chat. That Terra portal worked, but we're lucky that only four Dark Bane came through. And with Nacho, that makes five here in Slug Terra. We have to make sure Black doesn't try it again. After all you did to hold back his minions, I'm just sorry I let him get away. It's not your fault, Eli. We'll go after Dr. Black again. We'll find another way to hold him. No. Dr. Black is not a man that can ever be jailed. He'll have to meet his fate another way. For now, we've got a bigger battle to fight. We're gonna need all the help we can get. We need to get ready, and we need to spread the word. Well, what are we waiting for? To victory! Yeah!